Good afternoon and welcome once again to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. My name is Justin Smith and today I'm going to do a video and demonstrate a new arrival here at the dealership. It's a 2013 Chevrolet Express with an Explorer conversion package. Now this is a limited SE, uh, limited SE package, um, very nice package by Explorer. Gives you the premium mesh grill, does have the painted bumper, also does have the fog lights underneath the front fascia here. Now moving along to the side of the van, uh, we do have the 20 inch premium chrome wheels. Uh, very nice wheel that they use with this van. Probably one of the better wheels I've seen over the years. Holds up really well to just about any type of climate. Now moving down along the side, you notice we do have full body paint on this limited SE, meaning that the door handles, the mirrors, and of course the ground effects match the, the uh, base color on this van. Now this van does have the exclusive uh, medallion ground effects package, which is the top of the line package Explorer offers. And it's really nice, it dresses up uh, the van uh, extremely well and hides that running board that's located behind the doors. Um, now one thing I wanna uh, point out, that this van is a 2013, only has 19,000 miles on it. Paint is flawless, there's no scratches anywhere to be found on this van. No door dings or any blemishes in the paint. It's extremely good shape. Even the wheels don't have any curb marks on all four wheels. Um, that's very rare in a used van. Okay, moving along to the back of the van, I want to go over some very important safety features that come along with this van. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the rear backup camera system in this. Um, right here is where the factory backup camera is located. Now, anytime you put this vehicle in reverse, your image is going to display for you right on your rear view mirror. Probably my favorite backup setup yet that I've seen. Also, which is uh, incorporated with the backup camera, are these backup sensors located into the bumper. Now they're gonna give you, the camera's gonna give you a visual. Now these backup sensors are gonna give you an audible, and that, that notification is gonna intensify as you get closer to an object. It's gonna get faster, that audible that you're gonna get. Um, this van does have Stabilitrack and traction control, um, which is a great safety feature. Now this particular van does not come with a, a tow package, but one could be added uh, very easily and they're under $300 to do that. Now this van does have the capability to tow up to 6,400 pounds. So that's a very low investment to have that kind of uh, pulling power. Okay, moving along to the back of the van, just gonna go over all the features that come along with this 2013 Explorer. Now starting off with the entertainment in the back of this van, this van features a 27 inch LED 1080p television and also does have a Blu-ray player as well located in the console in between the front two seats. Now this Blu-ray player has built in uh, widgets such as Pandora, Hulu, Netflix and a couple others. Now the way that those operate is you have to have a, a Wi-Fi hotspot and most mobile carriers offer that so that's how you can use that. Now, again, it does have a Blu-ray player, but don't let that confuse you. You can still play the standard DVD in that Blu-ray player as well, so you're not going to lose uh, any capabilities with any previous DVDs that you might already own. Now, you can watch the movies back here two different ways. You can watch them through the wireless headphones that, are co that come provided with this van, or this van does have a surround sound speaker system. All the speakers are located in the uh, raised roof. So you do get a full surround sound experience if you want one. Really neat feature. Now the, the captain's chairs that I'm sitting here in the second row um, are fully reclinable and they are a quick release seat. Now these seats weigh around 4,500 or 45 pounds, I'm sorry, and which make it very easy for one person to take them in and out of the van. Moving along to the back of the van, this van does come with a three-piece power sofa. So that is the largest sofa offered in the industry as far as the sleeping accommodations. The kids are going to love that feature and mom and dad you might like that as well if you need to take a nap on a long trip. Now the privacy in this van, uh, again, it does have privacy glass around the whole back of the van. It does give you the option to use the, the shades as well. Now this van does have privacy shades located on all the rear windows in the back of the van to give you that added protection when needed. Okay, moving into the storage of the back of this van. Uh, this van does have five overhead storage compartments. All of them are lit and they do have a safety net in there so it helps keep all your items in place while, while this van is in motion. Um, one of the neatest things about most conversion vans is the lighting in the back. 
this particular lighting um, on this van is located right in the raised roof. You do have the capability to turn that on and off. And it also does have lighting under that show up right here um, underneath the rear shades on the back of this van as well. Um, the nice feature, thing about that feature is it just gives the passengers enough light for where they can see each other while, while having a conversation and it will not deter the driver. And again, you can have those on or off. Okay, moving along to the front of this uh, 2013 Explorer conversion van, going to go over all the features up front. Uh, this van does come with power mirrors on both sides. They are a heated mirror. Uh, it does have power windows, obviously, on both sides as well. Power door locks. And on the key fob with the keyless entry system on this, does have a remote start button. So this van does come with remote start. Nice to have that in the wintertime. Now moving along to the uh, steering wheel. We've got a really nice leather wrapped wheel here with steering wheel controls on both sides of the steering wheel. Now the ones on the left are gonna operate your cruise control feature. And the ones on the right are gonna give you the capability to change channels, uh, raise or lower the volume, answer uh, hands-free Bluetooth phone calls through this system right here with these buttons on the right. Um, now moving along to the buttons located below the radio, uh, the first button is a traction control button. That gives you the ability to turn the traction control on and off in this van. Now, one might ask why you'd want to turn your, your traction control off, and the only time you ever want to do that is if you get this van hung up in some deep snow or in some mud, uh, something like that, to where you need those tires to spin. And that, In the event of that, uh, you would want to turn your traction control off to help you get out, and that's the only reason you would ever want to turn your traction control off. These other buttons located to the right are your OnStar buttons. Now, that works with a subscription through General Motors. Any questions that you might have on that, you can give me a call and I can explain with greater detail how OnStar works. And the other button on the dash is your tow haul button. Now again, this van does not have a hitch. One can be added for just under $300. And what this button's gonna do, because it's set up from the factory to have a hitch, it's gonna change your shift points for you to make it less stressful on your transmission anytime you have this van under a load. Now the radio on this, in this van is an AM FM CD player. It does have the capability for an um, uh, iPhone or an Android phone or any MP3 player to be hooked up through this auxiliary input so you can listen to your music through the sound system in this van. Now above the radio you're going to notice that you're, that's your front and rear or your front, I'm sorry, heat and AC controls. Now this van does have rear heat and AC as well and those controls are located right here above the rear view mirror. Now the buttons located above the rear air controls are your indirect switches. Now these are the buttons that are going to put all the power to the back of the van. Your reading lights, your indirect lights, your TV uh, power, and also your fog lights located on the front of the van. Those are all located right here. Now again this van does have a rear backup system and we'll demonstrate later on in this video when you put the van in reverse your image is always going to show right up here in your rear view mirror. Uh, one of the neat features that Explorer does in all their conversion vans with their console located here in between the front two seats is they do incorporate a cooler. Uh, it's a really nice feature. It's a removable liner and it will accommodate a six pack of pop or whatever beverage you want to put in there um, and that's nice to have while you're traveling. The seats located in the front of this van are an eight-way power pedestal. Do have a power recline feature as well and also do have heat and a power lumbar located right here on the armrest is how you operate those controls. And that pretty much wraps up the front of this 2013 Explorer conversion van. Again, my name is Justin Smith with Paul Sherry Conversion Van, and I want to thank you for your time today, and I hope you enjoyed this video of this brand new arrival here, 2013 Explorer Raised Roof Conversion Van. Now, if you have any questions on this particular van or anything that you might have seen on our website, please don't hesitate to call. I'm always around to answer anybody's questions. And for those of you that are in the market for a conversion van and want to make sure you don't miss out on the next great deal here at Cherry's, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get an instant notification anytime we put up a brand new video. That's going to ensure you're not going to miss out on the next hot deal here at Sherry Conversion Vans. Thanks again.